as we take a look at the tail of the tape. Luke Harris, 37 years of age, 6'2", 205, his reach 76 inches. Jared Hammond, 32 years of age, 6'3", just over 204 pounds at weigh-in, and his reach 75 pounds. Canada versus the USA. The rules of the World Series of Fighting is a 10-point must system. It's based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and of course, cage control. There are no knees or kicks to the head of a grounded opponent at the World Series of Fighting. So that's what you need to know. We are set to go. We go inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Fighting 14. We return back up north to the Edmonton Expo Center in Edmonton, Alberta. We would like to welcome our viewers that are viewing live at NBCSN. We've got fighters in the Decagon. This fight is brought to you by Autoshopper.com. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Light Heavyweight Division. And now, introducing, fighting out of the blue corner, his record, 13 victories, six defeats, standing six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 240. Four and one half pounds fighting out of Los Angeles, California by way of Denver, Colorado. Tonight, he makes his debut in the World Series of Fighting Decagon. Introducing Jared the Messenger Hammond. Hammond loves to knock people out. Ten of his 13 wins came by way of knockout, so keep the fight standing and make sure it is standing. He has to throw short combinations with movement right after. When it goes to the ground, get the opponent in the guard. And now his opponent on my right, fighting out of the red corner. His record is impressive. Ten victories, two defeats. Standing six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at 205 and one half pounds, fighting out of St. Albert, Alberta. Tonight he also makes his debut in the Decagon, presenting Luke Hayabusa! submissions all of his 10 wins came by way of submission set up takedowns with strikes or push his opponent backwards since that will take away the striking power and then look for a clinch into a takedown your referee for this fight is Kyle Cardinal so we are set to go here in Edmonton Edmonton Alberta in the Expo Center on the corner of Wayne Gretzky Drive as the Oilers celebrate their 30 year Stanley Cup reunion so big doing ons here in Edmonton but tonight it is all about the World Series of Fighting WSOF 14 ready, ready? is now set to get Look underway I met Wayne uh, two months ago or something at a poker tournament Mr. Gretzky the great one the great in one. town this weekend Thanksgiving weekend and a quick start there for Luke Harris in the black trunks Jared Hammond in the white trunks. Yeah this is a reverse table here Hammond won 10 times by knockout his opponent 10 times by submission. Now both these guys very impressive lightning in the hands and a straight left there by Luke Harris and now he's got Hammond up against the cage. He needs it on the ground. He really needs this fight on the ground. You talk about Luke Harris and the quick striking ability, all of his wins coming by first round submission. So if you're Jared Hammond, you're thinking, just get out of the first round and see what this guy can do in the second round. That's it, you know, and I saw in Hammond's corner Vladimir Machichenko, if I... Yes, uh, you are correct. And, and he's a really great wrestler, was a great fighter as well. And uh, I bet you that Harris has been working with him a lot, so he knows how to defend the takedown. Yeah. Wow, nice exchange there in the corner. And Jared Hammond gets some shots in. Now, Hammond is a seven-fight UFC veteran. He won two fight of the nights with the UFC, including a TKO win over C.B. Dalloway. And when you look wow. at a guy's resume, you're thinking, okay, C.B. Dalloway, absolutely no slouch. No, not at all. And also a great wrestler. You yeah, know? no question so, about it. So, again, it's Hammond in the white trunks here in the early part of round number one. This one's scheduled for three in the light heavyweight division. Luke Harris in the black with the red trim. I'm amazed that Harris is trading with him, that he doesn't even look yeah. for a clinch more. Well, you think that Luke Harris coming into this fight with the black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu might want to get this thing on the ground and yeah. see if he can't fish for that first round submission. Well, you mentioned his losses came by knockout. Yep. So, the way to beat him. You don't want to go to the ground with this guy. Oh, big right hand there, though, he landed. And you'll sense a theme tonight in our fights here in Edmonton. Our Canadian hosts several U.S.-Canada toe-to-toe bouts and already a cut over the right forehead 
right for Brow, I should say, of Luke Harris. Oh, not a nice right hook there by Harris, uh, by Hammond, sorry. Wow, Hammond really making a fear flurry. This could be it. Yeah, Harris is in trouble right now, They're head trouble. down. He is in a lot yeah. of trouble. This one's gonna get stopped if he doesn't start defending himself. Yeah, that is it. it. Wow. That is it in round one. Training with Mr. Machuchenko, the janitor, as they call him, has definitely paid off. Jared Hammond strikes yet again, picking up his 11th knockout of his career. So it's Hammond out of Denver, Colorado, with yet another TKO. That was the game plan. All you have to do is look at Boss's notes. He wants to look and stand and throw punches and look for the KO. Simple as that. That's it. Ten knockout victories, his opponent ten submissions. Oh, guess what's gonna happen? Luke Harris, a good start, but you saw the cut over the right brow, and then it was just all on as Hammond circled like a shark. Oh, man, those ones behind the ear. Yeah, they... I'm amazed he's still standing, actually. Oh, Oof. that last one on the jaw. You know, it's a tough situation for our referees here in the world of MMA. They want to let the fighters try to work themselves out of trouble, but at this point, Kyle Cardinal, he's just about to step in, and that's the punch coming right there that ends this it. This one, yeah. Yeah, once the knees buckle, you got to have to stop it. We will be back to the Edmonton Expo Center with the official decision. Jared Hammond, the American, gets the better of his Canadian host. We'll have the word when we return. Live in Edmonton, Alberta, you are looking at Derek Maiman, the young man out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Steve Carl working in his corner tonight. He is in the co-main event as the World Series of Fighting heavyweight title belt is on the line. He'll have his hands full with Shmelino Rama. You'll see that in the co-main event coming up later tonight live on NBCSN. Right now we go back inside the cage at the conclusion of our first fight, and that is where Jazz Securo has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kyle Cardinal has put a stop to the fight at two minutes and 27 seconds of the very first round. Officially a technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner, Jared the Messenger Hammond! Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 